It's another day, just like yesterday. And the day before it, and the day before that, and every day for the past six months. You see, for him, it feels like a cycle, a never-ending loop of some sort. And it seems like the others have started to take notice, too. He was expected to complete that particular level ages ago, yet it remains as unfinished as ever. Now, he can shrug it off as bad luck, but it's becoming painfully obvious his talents are lacking. Maybe he's not cut out for this game-making thing after all. Whoa, buddy. You don't have to make it personal. Oh dear, looks like we've hit a nerve, but hey, who am I to judge? Cortana, turn narrator off. You can silence me, but you can't silence the truth. Ah! Narrator off. Now, to make things easy for you to understand, let's just say that designing levels can be done mainly in two ways. We got linear world design, and we got open world design. Now, the difference is, is that in linear world design, you basically lead the player through point A, B, and C in a specific order to catch up on events that you've designed. However, in open world design, you present point A, B, and C, but let the player tackle them in whichever order that they want. Now, in Sword Islands, from the name, you can tell that the game will take a place on a set of islands. And I kind of went with the open world approach. It's a mini open world because it's an island, not a giant continent or anything. But the player basically has the freedom to shape their own journey. So I released episode 2, which was about a year ago, talking exactly about that, how the islands are kind of sets of uh, points of interest, kind of feeling like a theme park where the players go from one point to another, exploring around. So what's the problem? If everything seems so solved, everything seems so planned, why is it taking so long? Well, the issue is things are always easier on paper. From, from that video up until now, I kind of scrapped around eight different levels. None of them made it. Every single one of them took a range of one to three weeks to make, which is tons of time if you think about it. The main reason why it's not working out is one of the two. It either didn't look good or it didn't play well. For example, for a while I was making a use of stamping tools, for example Atlas, uh, which is a really great tool by the way, and uh, I, used, I used that tool to kind of shape my level, however, I couldn't get a level to look good. While I had full control over the, the tool, how to shape like a, this weird ass hill where you can walk and fight enemies and stuff like that, I still couldn't make it look good. And that's not because the tool sucks or anything like that, it's just because I'm a bad sculptor myself. I just don't know how to sculpt a landscape that looks good. So instead, I opt for using procedure generation, so I was playing around with a tool called Mad Magic 2. And what's cool about this tool is that you can literally just slap some noise here and there, add some noise on top of them, and bada bim bada boom, you have a landscape. But now the drawback of taking this approach is that you would lack full control over the landscape. Let's say I want to have a ruin site here. I would have to go by hand and adjust the terrain so it kind of fits the area of the, of the castle. So you have to kind of sculpt over it by hand, place the castle on top of it, place the ruin site or whatever. And then you end up basically doing the same thing that you didn't want to do, which is sculpting the landscape by hand. And that's why this episode has been taking forever to make. I was hoping that I have all the answer by the time this episode was supposed to be out. However, it's been six months and I still have nothing to show for it. Whether I pick procedure generation or I do things by hand, I'm kinda starting to get sick of both approaches. Hey, it's that part of the video again where I remind you to wishlist the game on Steam, uh, subscribe for the channel, comment your opinions of what you saw so far, and let me know if you have any feedback regarding the game. I would also thank the Patreon supporters. I don't make enough videos, sadly, to just keep mentioning them. Uh, also, like, there will be changes happening to the Patreon soon, probably. And as for the Kickstarter, please check it out. The link is in the description. If you're watching this video right now, it's probably live. Now, if the Kickstarter worked out, it will be really amazing because I'll be able to work full-time on the game. But if it didn't work out, but if it didn't work out, it's also okay. I'll see what I can do uh, as a plan B. And yeah, thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of the video.
So I ended up using both procedure generation and manual hand sculpting to generate this level and I think that's the solution, using both tools, not using one tool and thinking that it's a one-size-fit-all solution. The, you can see it's missing like the grass and the vegetation, but we have a couple trees here and there. I'm also not, I'm, I'm, I'm also not sure about their placement, but uh, they work quite well. They look quite well. We got like uh, a lot of rocks. I gotta say, a lot of rocks. Like putting all of these rocks took probably most of the time, and you can still see that I still got a lot of spaces to cover. I planned the path, I planned the points of interest, so I just like went up here like this and just decided, uh, okay, let's throw like the starting room here, the fort, which marks the end of the level over there. There's like this little like a pond or a lake where you can uh, practice a little bit of the fishing. We got like shacks, these are just placeholder, I'll replace them. There will probably be like either a chest or a merchant inside them where you can talk and interact with. We got like a little titan fight here. He's 3x the size of the player almost so it'll be a cool fight yeah I, I i really don't want to go in depth and showcase everything uh like from a first person view because i want you guys to at some point hopefully maybe in the future see it for yourself play it for yourself like the fort there is an entire structure within it it's an entire like section on its own uh with like something at the end like a boss fight and stuff so yeah, I, I really don't want to go to depth with it, but I wanted to showcase something because uh, what else am I going to upload to YouTube, goddammit? I played around also with the cloud shader for the billionth time. I know, I promise, I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm still playing around because, like, optimization, you know, not all the clouds are uh, as optimized as you think they are, but... Uh, yeah, so I just need to put some vegetations here and there, uh, optimize uh, some of the NPCs because, like, look at this goofball. It will be ready to at least, like, ship it for a couple content creators, you know, to maybe play around and stuff. Now, I don't know how long would that take because I still didn't add the enemies yet. Apparently, skin meshes, like, ruin your performance so hard, so you need to, like, bake them and optimize them and stuff. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment with your feedback or your opinion. And I hope to see you guys all in the next episode. Now, originally the video was supposed to end here, but I kind of wanted to talk about something. And it's just that I don't get to upload many videos, so I'm kind of late to the party. Most of you know I don't like to talk about politics because it divides people. Hell, is even a policy on my Discord server to not mention politics or take sides and stuff like that. And if you're trying to grow a brand, you are supposed to kind of also shut up and keep your opinions to yourself. But truth must be told, I kind of feel guilty worrying about games and characters and NPCs and bugs and optimization when literally on the other side of the planet there are people right now who are getting wiped. So the least I can say or do is send my wishes and prayers to all the people in Palestine. And I'm saying this not because, wow, look at me guys, I stand for things, but because what's happening is genuinely unhuman and not to say anything makes you feel like you're kind of part of it. So, yeah, that's that, and uh, I was really hoping that, like, you know, you leave it for a while, it's gonna calm down like every other thing that keeps happening on this weird planet, but I, I honestly don't know anymore. Like, it's such a weird world we, we live in.